Hey, welcome back to YT Finance, and this is the channel where I went to business school so you didn't need to, and today we are talking about the best stocks to buy and the latest stock market news. So for more videos just like this one, go ahead and annihilate that like button right now, subscribe if you are new, comment down below your thoughts about any or all of these stories, and with that being said, let's get right into it. You can see on screen at year to date that the NASDAQ, the S&P 500, and the Dow Jones have been performing exceptionally well, which means that it's a great time to be an investor in the stock market right now. However, we have a huge upcoming news in regards to an upcoming IPO for Reddit. Reddit has recently filed to go public, and they plan to go public in the month of March. If you're not familiar with this company, Reddit operates a social media platform, and so far, they have reported plans to offer 75,000 of its power users the opportunity to buy shares in this IPO at the IPO price. Normally, a company would give this privilege only to professional investors who are expected to hold the stock for a long period of time. However, according to the CEO, he hopes by giving these people skin in the game, they'll feel more like owners within this company. And this goes directly for the moderators that are on Reddit. For context, Reddit has communities which are known as subreddits, in which around 60,000 moderators or mods moderate the comments of these subreddits. These moderators will have the opportunity to buy into this company at the IPO price, in which other investors will not have this opportunity. However, recent reports from Wired and The Verge show that Reddit's IPO is being poorly received by the Reddit community. As of right now, the number one comment on these news articles regarding Reddit's IPO is that this is, quote, the beginning of the end. So a lot of investors are actually not hyped up about this IPO, but I have other plans. I think one of two things are going to happen with this company. Either the company is going to surge as soon as it IPOs and then it will drop like a rock in their share price, or the company will drop in their share price immediately after the IPO before surging and then consolidating. Therefore, I am betting on both of these scenarios by hedging my bets. You should also know that Reddit is one of the most visited websites in the United States, but despite this, Reddit has struggled to make money. Reddit also has a lot of other risk factors that other social media companies don't need to worry about, so I'm interested to see what the future of this company holds. However, over the long term, I do believe this company will become profitable. And just listen to a recent deal that they landed with Google. For some background information, because Reddit is a social media company, they make most of their money through advertising. But recently, they introduced new revenue streams, including licensing its vast number of messages to train AI models. As recent as last week, the company reported a $60 million deal per year with Google for AI training. And I believe they could continuously ink other partnerships and deals similar to this with other companies who want to train AI models off of the subreddits section. Therefore, I am very excited for this IPO and I can't wait to see what happens with it. So I would love to hear your thoughts down below about A, if you use Reddit, or B, if you are excited for the upcoming IPO on the public stock market. You should also be aware of another quick news update regarding AT&T and BYD, but let's start off with AT&T. If you watched our previous news update, you would know that AT&T is a gigantic telecommunications company which had a widespread outage. And because of this outage, AT&T recently said that they will credit $5 for quote-unquote potentially impacted wireless customers following this widespread outage on Thursday. Honestly, this is a pretty good public relations move, but I'm interested to see how customers react to this. Next, let's talk about BYD, which is an electric vehicle manufacturer located over in China. BYD is taking luxury EVs to a new level, because they recently introduced a new vehicle with a sticker price of around $233,450 US dollars. This is a hyper luxury electric vehicle, and I'm interested to see how well it sells over in China. You can even look further into this company and even invest into this company by looking up ticker symbol BYDDF or BYDDY. I would also love to hear what your favorite electric vehicle companies are down below in the comments, because for me, I like BYD, Tesla, as well as Lee Auto. Our next story is about the meat substitute company named Beyond Meat, which will report their earnings tomorrow. Recently, Beyond Meat was in the news because they issued a new patty formula to ramp up their sales and revenues. However, their stock has not been performing very well, considering that their share price is down by around 50%, so hopefully this company can catch a break. Speaking about food, let's talk about the fast casual meditation 
Mediterranean chain named Kava, which also reports earnings tomorrow. Recently, the company reported a 50% year-over-year sales growth rate, and the company posted profits, which is very impressive. If you've never been to Kava, essentially, they are a Mediterranean version of Chipotle, which means that Chipotle and Kava are actually rivals. You should also know that Kava's share price is also doing quite well, considering that they are up 30% in their share price, making this a phenomenal investment. You should also know that Kava's rival, Chipotle, recently crushed estimates last quarter despite price hikes, and they also saw increased in foot traffic by around 7%, so this is great news for both Kava and Chipotle, and I love both of these companies and I love their stock. Next up, let's talk about a cryptocurrency mining company named Marathon Digital. Recently, residents of a Texas community are trying to kick out the crypto mining giant named Marathon Digital. This company owns a local bit mining facility with over 80,000 computers. However, neighbors say that it runs non-stop at the volume of a motorcycle, so clearly this is annoying and people want to sleep. Interestingly enough, Amazon, which is the e-commerce giant, received similar complaints for their warehouses. For me personally, I would much rather invest into Bitcoin itself rather than Marathon Digital, and for Amazon, I personally hold them in my portfolio. So I'd love to hear if you hold Amazon in your portfolio because it is a fantastic company to own. Speaking about fantastic companies to own, let's talk about the recent news update for Palo Alto Networks, because if you recall recently, the company dropped in their share price by around 28.44%. The reason for why this company is decreasing in their share price is because they missed on quarterly results, and they gave guidance that was less than impressive. But since then, analysts, as well as institutions, have actually remained positive on Palo Alto Networks, ticker symbol P-A-N-W, and this is a cybersecurity firm if you didn't know. Recently, Susquehanna recently decreased their price target for Palo Alto Networks from $400 down to $325. However, despite this news, investors, analysts, and management remain positive on this company. The reason for this is because the company is well positioned to be a key beneficiary of cyber budget increases and growths from other companies. That's why this company has a hold rating, except I personally have a buy rating on this company and I hold them in my personal portfolio. So I'd love to hear if you hold this company in your portfolio. But now let's move on to our next story. Next up, we have Super Micro in the news and we're going to talk about where this company could be over the next five years. If you're not familiar with this company, this company's share price has literally jumped by over 700% over the last 12 months and their ticker symbol is SMCI, and they have been one of the largest beneficiaries of the artificial intelligence boom. This company is so good that they have even outpaced the gains of giants such as NVIDIA, which rose by around 230% in their share price during the same period. Historically, Supermicro has been a relatively cheap company, because at the start of 2023, their shares were worth under 10 times their earnings, making this company relatively cheap. Now, if you don't know what this company does, I'll tell you. They essentially make server racks, which can cool off various machines which are being used in artificial intelligence, but they also do a lot more. The company also transforms cutting-edge products into computer servers that data center customers use to run websites, AI algorithms, and other applications. And ever since AI came on the scene, this company has been rolling in the money. For instance, their fiscal second quarter sales jumped by 103% year-over-year to $3.66 billion. But the news gets even better, considering that their net income also increased by around 68% to $296 million, and some believe that there is still further upside left in this company. As an example, one analyst gave this company a 12-month stock price target of $1,300, which indicates 81% future upside for this company still, which is absolutely amazing. Therefore, even after the company jumped in their share price, they still have a lot of upside growth ahead of them, according to that analyst. However, let me be the voice of reason here, because even though Supermicro jumped in their share price, this also inflated their P.E. ratio or their price to earnings ratio to around 62. So it jumped from 10 to around 62, which does make this company rather expensive. However, analysts, experts, and investors believe that if we discount this company according to their recent growth momentum from their recent accounting ratios, then this company is still a pretty good buying opportunity. According to the article, over the next five years, Supermicro can continuously beat market expectations, and based on their current AI growth momentum, there is still upside left in the stock. However, you should be aware that this company still needs to justify their current valuation or they will face a harsh correction, so please be aware of that, and I would love to hear your thoughts down below about Supermicro in the comments. Next up, let's talk about KKR, which is a company that I have heavily invested into during the year of 2024. For evidence of this, go ahead and watch my stock portfolio update on the best stocks that I am buying right now because KKR was one of them, and recently they received a fantastic catalyst. KKR, whose ticker symbol is KKR, can 
confirmed on Monday that it agreed to acquire the end-user computing division of Broadcom in a deal valued at approximately $4 billion. Due to this news, KKR stock jumped by 3.1%, while Broadcom stock, ticker symbol AVGO, jumped by 0.8%. For context, KKR currently trades for $95 per share, while Broadcom trades for $1,296 per share. If you don't know what KKR does, their business provides a line of digital workspace products that allows organizations to deliver and manage applications, desktops, and data across any device or platform. For me, I am heavily investing into this company, and I love this catalyst because this just goes and adds to my investment thesis for this company. So I'd love to hear your thoughts about this company down below. Next up, let's talk about two growth stocks that could surge by 72% and 79% respectively, according to Wall Street analysts. Our first pick is going to be none other than PayPal Holdings, because a Morningstar analyst actually set a price target for PayPal at $104 per share, implying 79% upside in this company. The next company that we're going to talk about is Salesforce, where they have a bull case price target of $481, implying 72% upside in that company. So let's get into the details, starting off with PayPal Holdings. Recently, PayPal posted solid fourth quarter results to where their revenue increased by around 9% to $8 billion. However, Wall Street did expect non-GAAP earnings growth of around 7%, but PayPal missed this estimate. On the bright side, PayPal did recently redesign their branded checkout experience to improve speed and reduce friction, and hopefully this will increase payment volumes. If you didn't know, PayPal dominates the online payment processing space with nearly twice as much market share as their closest competitor. On top of that, their future revenue growth looks to be very stable, and the company is driving adoption to their Venmo debit card, so these are very positive developments for this company. Now, one of my favorite parts about this stock is that they are trading in near their cheapest price-to-sales ratio ever. This means that this company is an absolute steal to buy right now at their current share price. This is why analysts believe this company is a great company to hold over the next 5 years, and why this company could surge by around 79% in the next 12 months. That's why the author of this article says that you should buy a small position in this company, but always make sure to do your own research first. Next, let's talk about Salesforce, which recently reported a better than expected earnings in their third quarter of fiscal 2024. Their revenue jumped by 11%, up to $8.7 billion, and this would represent robust revenue growth. The investment thesis for this company is relatively straightforward. Salesforce is synonymous with customer relationship management software, also known as CRM software. The company dominates this space because the company accounted for 22.1% of all CRM spending throughout the first half of last year. To put this into perspective, this would be more than the next four largest competitors combined, so Salesforce absolutely dominates this space. And on top of that, Salesforce is also innovating in artificial intelligence, so this just adds more fuel to their fire. Because of these reasons, this is why Morgan Stanley recently increased their price target to $481 per share. Therefore, if you have a five-year time horizon for an investment, feel free to look further into this company and snag a small portion of this stock. After all, professionals believe this company could surge by 72% over the next 12 months, and you wouldn't want to miss out on that. So let me know down in the comments if you own a PayPal or Salesforce in your portfolios. Next up, let's talk about Zscaler, ticker symbol ZS, which is rapidly approaching their fiscal second quarter results which should be released on February 29th. Zscaler is already up to date in their share price because a Needham analyst is expecting strong figures and results from this upcoming earnings report. The analyst said, and I quote, Our confidence is driven by strong channel checks, positive reads from competitors, enterprise slash Fed deal momentum, and new products. He goes on to say, We expect a beat and raise quarter for billings versus implied guidance for approximately 24% growth, and investor bogeys in the 28-29% to range. Therefore, this analyst guides for a revenue guidance of around 30% growth, which is great news. The analyst also raised his price target on Zscaler to $290 from the original $235 price prediction, and he reiterated his strong buy rating on this company. For the actual earnings result estimates, Zscaler is anticipated to earn $0.58 cents per share on $560. $6.81 million worth of revenue, so I can't wait for this upcoming earnings report. In general, this is a solid company to own in your portfolio, and I like how this is an upcoming catalyst for this company's share price, but only really time will tell what happens with this company, so I'll keep you updated. Next up, we have Micron Technology, ticker symbol MU, and on Monday, they said that it began volume production of its high bandwidth memory semiconductors for use in NVIDIA's latest chip for artificial intelligence, and this is great news for this company. This product will also deliver 
more than 1.2 terabytes per second of memory bandwidth, and it also consumes approximately 30% lower power compared to their competition. So this is extremely good news for this company. That's why shares of MU stock has jumped by around 4%, and I'd love to hear your thoughts down below about Micron Technology, because I personally own them in my portfolio. Next up, let's talk more about Salesforce, because Citi recently boosted their price target on this company. On Monday, Citi increased their price target on Salesforce, which we talked about earlier when we talked about PayPal, for their fourth quarter fiscal results. Recently, Citi upped their price target on a Salesforce, which we also talked about when we talked about PayPal, and this is fantastic news. The price target was raised from $265 up to $325 per share, which is very positive. However, you should be aware that Salesforce is still seeing long sales cycles and downward pressure for renewals. For the current forecast for what they are anticipated to bring in, the company should post $2.27 per share on $9.22 billion worth of revenue, so I am excited for this upcoming catalyst for this company and I'd love to hear your thoughts about this company down below. Earlier in the video, we talked about BYD, which is a Chinese EV maker, but now let's talk about Li Auto, which is another Chinese EV maker. The reason why Li Auto, ticker symbol LI, is in the news is because they reported strong fourth quarter earnings early on Monday. According to the article, Li Auto posted 93 cents per share, which is a 615% increase from what they brought in for the year earlier. On top of that, the company's revenue soared by 130% up to $5.88 billion. But the news gets even better, because even though they crushed Wall Street estimates, the EV maker forecasted very impressive future projections. The company forecasted quarter one revenues to be between $4.4 billion and $4.53 billion, equating to a 66% to a 71% increase from the year earlier. However, their next earnings report will not impress, and here's why. Deliveries are expected to be between 100 and 103,000, which would equate to a 90 to a 96% increase from the year earlier, but this would be below their quarter four record of 131,805 vehicles. So this is going to be under Wall Street estimates and targets, and this will reflect very negatively in the their share price in my opinion. The company also has a few upcoming catalysts, and a lot of other EV makers over in China will also post their results. And this would include Xpeng, NIO, and BYD. Li Auto will report February sales on Friday, March 1st, along with Xpeng, NIO, and BYD, which will be reporting either on March 1st or March 2nd. But here are the upcoming catalysts. Li Auto currently sells three premium SUVs, which would be the L7, the L8, and the L9. These are all hybrid electric vehicles. However, the best part is that they are going to unveil their 2024 versions of these vehicles on March 1st, which should act as a positive catalyst. The company also has another upcoming catalyst in April, where Lee will unveil their L6. So this is going to be a very positive catalyst for their share price, and I would love to hear your thoughts about this company down below. Lastly, we have some quick news stories to keep you informed, so let's dive right into it, starting off with TEVA. This company jumped by 5% in their share price, following a joint announcement from Alvotech. So clearly this was good news for both of these companies. Moving on, let's talk about Domino's Pizza, ticker symbol DPZ. This company jumped by 5% in their share price after their quarter four results exceeded expectations. Lastly, you should know that Intuitive Machines, ticker symbol LUNR, their share price dropped by more than 30% recently. The reason for this is because their spacecraft, which landed on the moon, actually tipped over despite a successful landing. Originally, the company surged in their share price, and now this company is radically pulling back exactly as we predicted here. So with that being said, that will conclude today's video. Also, if you stayed all the way to the end, here's a bonus news story. Consider that ARM has recently surged in their share price due to an upgrade from an institution. So with that being said, I would love for you to comment your thoughts down below, subscribe if you are new, smash that like button right now, and I'll see you in the next YT video.